Hello, hi guys. This is C.A. Balakrishna from lecturepedia.in. How are you? Hope you people are doing well. Even I am fantastic. Now, in the today's class, we will be revising essay 810, which is engagement with respect to audit of summary financial statements. What are these summary financial statements? Summary financial statements are those financial statements which are prepared from the actual set of financial statements. But these summary financial statements, they will not contain all the information that is present in the financial statement, but it will be present in a summarized format. What is the purpose of preparing these summary financial statements? Basically for various purposes, like for uh, for presenting in an investor presentation okay uh, you will be giving these summary financial statements or when you are going for a loan with the bank in order to briefly explain your financial position you can present this summary financial statements to the banker or when you are going for a ipo you will be giving this prospectus right in that prospect also prospectus also instead of giving full set of financial statements you can give this summary financial statements like this in various situations the summary financial statements will be used in the same way uh, in order to present to credit rating agencies there will be various credit rating agencies right like a uh, krizil Basically, these uh, credit rating agencies, they will give rating to the companies. Mostly for the financial companies, rating will be given with respect to their bonds, debentures. Okay, uh, rating will be given for purpose of giving that rating. You need to present your financial position to the credit rating agency. Now, you can present your financial position in the form of a summary financial statements, right? And these summary financial statements, they will also be audited by the auditor. Whether auditor of complete set of financial statements and auditor of summary financial statements, they both should be same. The answer is no. You can appoint different auditors for audit of complete set of financial statements and audit of summary financial statements. But it is advisable and preferable to appoint same auditor for both because the auditor who has audited the complete set of financial statements, he will be having complete knowledge with respect to the financial statements. So the task of auditing summary financial statements becomes easy for the auditor. Okay, the audit evidences that he has obtained during the audit of complete set of financial statements, he can use them for auditing summary financial statements also. But however, if you want to appoint a different auditor, you can appoint a different auditor that is completely allowed. Hope that is clear. So, essay 810, which is uh, engagement to report on summary financial statements. I have explained to you what are the summary financial statements. They are de derived from complete set of financial statements. And these are the situations in, in which you will be using the summary financial statements. And as I have already told you while discussing essay 800, this 800 series standard, it will be, uh, it can be divided into three parts. Firstly, considerations while accepting the engagement considerations while planning and performing the engagement considerations while reporting so from those three parts first part factors to be considered while accepting the engagement generally if the engagement to audit summary fin uh, set of summary financial statements is offered to the auditor who has already audited the complete set of financial statement he will generally accept the engagement because he has already audited the full set of financial statements so he is having the idea so generally he will accept the uh, audit of uh, summary financial statements also and before accepting the engagement the auditor he needs to first of all check whether the criteria on which the summary uh, financial statements have been prepared is acceptable or not criteria means the basis on which the summary financial statements has been prepared just like for a complete set of financial statement the criteria will be financial reporting framework right in the same way the for the summary financial statements also there will be certain criteria certain format okay as per which the summary financial statements has to be prepared so the criteria that has uh, the, the criteria that has been used for preparation of summary financial statements must be acceptable okay on what what factors the auditor will determine whether the criteria is acceptable or not based on the nature of the entity and the purpose for which these summary financial statements have been prepared and by applying this criteria whether summary financial statements will present a fair representation or not or will there be any misstatements or misleading information in the summary financial statements by using this uh, uh, criteria that will be checked before determining whether 
criteria is acceptable or not along with that you will also see the information needs of the intended users whether by applying this criteria if we prepare summary financial statements whether the information needs of the users will be satisfied or not okay based on this the auditor will determine whether the applied criteria is applicable or not hope that is clear now this this criteria it can be developed by a standard setting organization like our icai if there is no criteria that has been developed by a standard setting organization then management themselves based on the industry best practices they can develop their own criteria for preparation of a summary financial statements hope that is clear so you'll have to first of all check whether the criteria is acceptable or not what if criteria is not acceptable then whether you can accept the engagement or not the answer is no if criteria is not acceptable you cannot accept the engagement until and unless required by law or regulation okay law or regulation states that even though the criteria is not acceptable you accept the engagement if in that situation you have accepted the engagement because law and regulation has said to accept the engagement even though the criteria is not acceptable then in the audit report you should not mention that the audit was conducted as per SA 810. Such a reference you should not make in the audit report if you have accepted the audit of summary financial statements just because law or regulation has prescribed. Okay. See, audit report on summary financial statements shall not indicate compliance with this essay. If you have accepted the engagement, even though the applicable cri the criteria is not acceptable you have accepted the engagement just because the law or regulation has prescribed okay next responsibility of the management the auditor after he has accepted the engagement he should obtain a written agreement from the management with respect to management's responsibility what is the responsibility of the management first of all it is the responsibility of the management to prepare summary financial statements as per the applicable criteria okay preparation of summary financial statements as per applicable criteria and it will also be the responsibility of the management to whomever management gives summary financial statements along with the summary financial statements you should also give complete set of financial statements okay see make audited financial statements available to users of summary financial statements without undue difficulty how you can make them available now because the users if they just read summary financial statements they will not get the complete information until and unless they read complete set of financial statements so to the users who are depending on summary financial statements the management they should make the users available the complete set of financial statements also how they can be made available first of all summary financial statement describe from whom or from where the complete set of financial statements can be availed if along with the summary financial statements you have not given complete set of financial statements at least in the summary financial statements you mention from whom or from where the complete set of financial statements can be obtained from the users or make a complete set of financial statements available on the public records like let's say on the website you upload a complete set of financial statements on the website and tell the users that we have uploaded a complete set of financial statements on the website you can see uh, uh, you can refer the complete set from there and these are the summary financial statements like in, like that you can mention or if management has established a process for availing the audited financial statements you mention that process by which the users can avail the complete set of financial statement in the summary financial statement hope that is clear this is a responsibility of the management what is the responsibility to make a complete set of financial statements available to the users of summary financial statements hope that is clear and include audit report in any document that contains summary financial statements okay if you have included summary financial statements let's say in investor presentation then in that investor presentation you also include the audit report on complete set of financial statements along with audit report on summary financial statements hope that is clear That is a responsibility of the management with respect to which you need to obtain a written agreement from the management. Next, what are the, the first part we have completed? That is uh, factors to be considered while accepting the engagement. Second part, factors to be considered while planning and performing the engagement. See, 
procedures to be performed by the auditor during the engagement firstly the auditor he need to evaluate whether summary financial statements they clearly mention their summarized nature and the summary financial statements should also identify the complete set of financial statements because the users they should not confuse that the, the these summary financial itself or the complete set of financial statements in order to avoid co confusion the auditor has to verify whether the com the summary financial statements clearly mention their summarized nature and they also identify the complete set of financial statements that is the first procedure that the auditor needs to perform next audited financial statements are available to users of summary financial statements unless prohibited by law or regulation the auditor needs to verify whether management is making the complete set of financial statements available to the users of the summary fi uh, financial statements or not even this has to be verified how you will verify in the summary financial statements the management they should mention from whom or from where the summary the complete set of financial statements can be obtained or if as per any law or regulation it is not required to give complete set of financial statement then in the summary financial statements the management must mention as per this particular law or regulation we are not mandated to give complete set of financial statements so we are not making the complete set of financial statements available to you such a uh, description or such reference must be made in the summary financial statements see if summary financial statements are not accompanied by audited financial statements evaluate they describe from where the audited financial statements are available or law or regulation as per which it is not required to be given and summary financial statements they must agree with the audited financial statements since the summary financial statements they are prepared from the audited complete set of financial statements they must agree with the complete set of financial statements and summary financial statements they must be prepared as per the applicable criteria okay all this auditor needs to verify through his audit procedures next wordings of the unmodified opinion on the summary financial statements coming to the reporting aspect now just like on complete set of financial statements you will give your opinion in the same way in on a summarized financial statements also you will give your opinion now if your opinion is unmodified opinion clean opinion then what is the terminology that you will be using in your opinion see any of these two terminologies you can use summary financial statements are consistent with the audited financial statements in accordance with applied criteria or you can also use summary financial statements or fair summary of audited financial statements in accordance with applied criteria of those of these two terminologies you can use any of the terminologies okay you need to communicate that summary financial statements or as per complete set of financial statements only okay that communication you have to made you have to make by using any of these two paragraphs if your opinion is clean opinion unmodified opinion hope that is clear next if law or regulation prescribes a different wording okay instead of using this wording if any law or regulation prescribes the auditor to use any other wordings in his audit opinion then auditor can use such type of other wordings in his opinion provided he performs such additional procedures that are required to enable the auditor to use such type of other wordings okay see apply further procedures necessary to express prescribed opinion hope that is clear next evaluate whether users might misunderstand auditor's opinion now in the audit report auditor has given his opinion after giving his audit opinion the auditor he should also evaluate whether there is any chance that the users of the summary financial statements they will misunderstand my opinion if there is such a chance whether can i give any explanatory statement so that with the help of that explanation the misunderstanding of a users can be avoided if auditor feels that even after giving explanatory statement the misunderstanding of users will not be avoided then it is better not to accept the engagement itself hope that is clear next 
audit report on financial statements see wherever i have used the term financial statements it is a complete set of financial statements if i am referring to summary financial statements i will be specifically using summary financial statements if i have not said summary financial statement in this chart means it is complete set of financial statement only another thing if you want to download this chart you can visit the link that i have given in the description and from there you can download the chart and if you want to purchase the classes you can visit our website lecturepedia.in and you can place your order hope that is clear now if the auditors report on the complete financial statements contain qualified opinion or emphasis of matter or other matter paragraph is present in the audit report of complete set of financial statement then the audit report on summary financial statements must mention that the audit report on complete set of financial statement is having a qualified opinion okay such uh, point must be mentioned in the audit report of summary financial statements however it is not required that if the opinion in the complete set of financial statement audit report is qualified the opinion on summary financial statement must also be qualified that requirement it is not there you can give unmodified opinion on summary financial statements even though there is a qualified opinion on the complete set of financial statements but the only requirement is in the audit report of summary financial statements you need to mention that the audit report of complete uh, financial statement is containing a qualified opinion and you should also mention or you should also uh, you know include the paragraph of basis for such qualified opinion on the complete set of financial statements okay in your audit report on summarized financial statements you need to include this paragraph of basis for qualified opinion on complete set of financial statements hope that is clear and what is the effect of such qualified opinion on the summary financial statements even that you need to mention your audit report of summary financial statements next if audit report on complete financial statements contain adverse opinion or disclaimer of opinion then again in the audit report of summary financial statements also you should mention that the audit report of complete set of financial statements contains a adverse or a disclaimer of opinion and you should also mention the basis for such adverse or disclaimer of opinion and here this point is important you should mention that because of such adverse or disclaimer of opinion on complete set of financial statements we are not able to give our opinion on the summarized financial statements that point must be mentioned that means if there is adverse or disclaimer of opinion in the complete set of financial statements audit report then in the audit report of summary financial statements you should not give any opinion hope that point is clear note if the summary financial statements are not consistent in all material respect with the uh, with respect to the complete set of financial statements then you will obviously give a adverse opinion on the summary financial statements obviously because summary financial statements they are not matching with the complete set of financial statements so how can you give you give a unmodified opinion you must give a adverse opinion hope that is clear next elements of audit reports on the summary financial statements what are the basic elements okay what are the basic side headings that should be present in the audit report the general side headings title addressee introductory paragraph management responsibility order responsibility opinion paragraph sign date and place okay these are the certain points that must be present in the auditors report on the summary financial statements next certain important points now as we have discussed in essay 810 and sorry essay 800 and essay 805 auditor he can use restriction on the distribution of the audit report if the audit report if the financial statements are prepared as per special purpose financial reporting framework then auditor in his audit report he can restrict the use of his audit report right now if the audit report on complete set of financial statements contains such a restriction on use of audit report then audit report on summarized financial statements must also contain such a paragraph restricting the use of the audit report on summary financial statements hope you understood what i said see restriction on distribution or alerting users a basis of accounting must this this must be included in the audit report on summary financial statements if it is included in the audit report on uh, normal complete set of financial statements again i am repeating it if audit report on complete set of financial statements contains any 
restriction on distribution of the audit report then audit report on summary financial statements must also contain such, such a restriction okay next unaudited supplementary information presented along with the summary financial statements if at all unaudited summary financial unaudited supplementary information is presented along with the summary financial statements then auditor must make sure that the unaudited supplementary information is properly uh, differentiated from the summary financial statement see must be clearly differentiated if at all it is not clearly di differentiated you should ask the management to make a proper differentiation proper distinction okay and other information in documents containing summary financial statements must be consistent with the summary financial statements just like now the summary financial statements you have included it included included it in the investor presentation now in the investor presentation apart from summary financial statements there will also be certain other information that will be present right now such other information must be consistent with the information that is present in summary financial uh, statements hope that is uh, clear by this the revision with respect to essay 8 10 gets completed i'll be winding up this class as of now take care bye bye see you Thank you.